a cold. All right, this is the history of the Shrunken Headband Club. It was a cold and rainy day in late October or early November of, t of 1994. Now, there had been lots of attempts before to get an animation illustration club started. Nobody cared. And so, Courtney said, listen, this really matters, and we have to get people to not only care about the art, but care about each other in a community. Sorry, I burped. Courtney brought everyone together and said, listen, this time next week, we're going to discuss a logo and we're going to appoint officers and it's going to work. It was a week later. The rain was still pouring. They looked around the room and they said, who wants to be an officer of this club? Bunny said, Dave Chai, do you want to be the vice president? And Dave Chai thought long and hard and said, okay. And then they asked, Jeff Jackson, do you want to be the president of this club? And Jeff Jackson closed his eyes and he mulled over the responsibility. And he said, sure. And so Courtney said, now we need to choose a logo. They remembered a stool that they had that everyone had borrowed at some point in their life to do all-nighters, to finish projects. It was always in the classroom. And there was this paint, this paint splotch on the stool. And everyone was very adamant that this paint splotch be the logo and that the name be the Shrunken Headman Club. But the university did not approve. When they tried to file the paperwork, the university said, the Shrunken Headman Club, what is that? That's what, that doesn't mean anything. The club stood strong and they said, no, we're not gonna change this name. We're the Shrunken Headman Club. There is a paint splotch on a stool and we are the Shrunken Headman Club. And finally, in the spring, of 2000, in the spring of 1995, the school finally approved everything and said, okay, you can be the Shrunken Head Man Club. And because they all cared about each other and it worked together so hard, there was this very strong community that kept growing and expanding every year. And 20 years later, we still exist.